going to show you how to create a stress strain curve that has multiple lines on it. Creating a stress strain curve when you just have one curve is not super complicated if you know how to graph, but if you're trying to add multiple curves onto the same graph, which is really useful for comparison, uh, it gets a little trickier, just a couple of things you're going to have to do that you might not um, realize you need to do in order to get your graphs to work. So I'm going to show you how to do it both in Google Sheets as well as in Logger Pro. So the first thing you need to do is just have all your data in one place. So here I have three separate materials that have their strain and their stress uh, just here. I copied and pasted these from another sheet that did have formulas. These do not have formulas. You can see they're just the data, but if you do have formulas, you need to make sure you're very careful in pulling over the values only. If you just copy and paste, everything will get messed up if you were using formulas. So for example, if you did have a formula before, oops, let me go back. So if you did have a formula that was something like this and you tried to copy and paste it. So here I just have the formula coming up with all these numbers and I just copy it and paste it. You'll see those aren't the same numbers because it copied and pasted, uh, moved over the cells. And so you just need to make sure you paste the values only. And now we'll have what we need but we don't need this data. So you have all your data in one place. What do you need to do? If I just take this and I do insert a chart, uh, I'm going to want to use a smooth line chart is the best uh, way to kind of do this. So there's a smooth line chart, but you can see this doesn't quite look right. If I make it bigger, you can see there are all these little lines down here. I'm not really sure what's going on with these scales and these are not what they need to be. And so what we need to do is set up our data a little bit differently in order to get what we need. So the way you need to set it up is like this. You'll put your strain for each of the three materials one after another. So you can see here is all of the data for trial one for the first material. Then you have the strain for the second material right below it. And the third material is right below that. So you can see each time it starts with zero, or if you're not starting with zero, you should have a clear point and know where your next trial is starting. And so then all I did is I kept the uh, stress for the first trial right here in column B, but then I moved the stress for the second trial over to column C and the stress for the third trial over to column D. So this is still the strain and the stress for one material, but they're just separated by columns. Now Google Sheets will be able to do what we want it to do. So if I highlight all that data again, I hit insert and my chart. Now I have something that is what I'm looking for. Uh, if you would like, you can go into your line chart, make it a smooth line chart. You can just tend to smooth it out a little bit better. Uh, if you click on one of these different uh, series here, uh, so this is under the customize tab, and then you can go to series or you can just click on a line. You can see that you can add points, so I could make them huge if I wanted. That would be silly. Uh, you can make them a little bit big or you can just make them tiny so that you can just barely see them. And I can go ahead and do that with each of my lines if I want those there. If I just want a nice smooth curve, you can leave it without it. Uh, but in this case, I put them on there. And now we see we have three curves plotted that I can nice, uh, nicely compare one of these curves to another one of these curves and look at these um, in context of each other. You can go ahead and of course add your axis titles, change your actual title of your graph, change your labels, whatever you wanna do. But this is how you need to set up your data in order to plot multiple uh, stress strain curves on one graph so that you can compare. If you're just looking to do one, you can leave it like I have it here and just keep it like that and it's no problem and it will graph it for you. Okay, so that is how we do this in Google Sheets. 
if we want to do it in Logger Pro, there are certainly pros to doing it in Logger Pro. Uh, one of them being that you're much more easily able, you're able to calculate the slope at any given point of the line much more easily if it's in Logger Pro. So I will go ahead and just have my data here. Doesn't matter how this data is for right now. Um, well, you do need to have your stress and your strain next to each other, or you can just copy one column at a time. So we'll go into our um, Logger Pro. We can go here and just highlight our data. So here's our data for trial one. And I just go ahead and copy and paste it. So there's one of my curves and we'll work on that. Then what I'm going to do is do data, new data set. I drag this over, you can see it added a second data set. So I'll go over here. I will add my second data set, copy and paste that over there. And then once again, add a new data set because I have three curves that I'd like to plot. And here we go. There we go. So here's our data. You can go ahead and change things up here if you need to or want to for the titles of each of the columns or the data itself but it's only showing one. So what do we need to do? Just click on the graph so that we have our graph options. Under graph options, you're going to want to go down and click on data set two and data set three. Now, when you do that, you'll see that it also adds these extra points down here, which we don't need. We actually only want these that are up here. So we go back in by double clicking and we're going to uncheck the X's and now we just have our Y's. Next thing we're going to do if we go back in is we're gonna make this scale a little more reasonable. And so we want it to just go as far as it goes. So now we have nice smooth uh, scatter plots or nice looking scatter plots. The last thing we need to do is add in the line. So if we go to graph options in this tab, then you can just go over here and hit collect, uh, connect points. Of course, you could do all these things in one, put the three on, take the X out, change the axis and connect the points. But I wanted to show them step by step. And here we have our graphs. So uh, we have our three stress strain curves on one graph. And here we can also compare. So you'll see that these look very similar to these. And there we have it. So they're the same thing just graphed. Of course, the, the spacing is a little bit different, but we can do this in sheets or we can do it in Logger Pro.